Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Thought I would do a quick update video since I haven't posted in the last couple of months. Um, I do hope to be posting more regularly now, so maybe a couple of times a week. So stay tuned for more videos to come on the channel soon. But in today's video, I'm not going to be focusing on my diecast collection. I know some of you guys um, mentioned in the comments that you would like to see some more reviews. So um, stay in tuned for the Veyron reviews. So I do my 118 scale in-depth reviews um, and I haven't done them on a few model cars yet. I've done them on most. So do check out the channel if you do want to see a couple of reviews on some of the other model cars. But for the Veyrons, I am planning on doing them all very soon. So stay tuned for in-depth reviews on all of the um, Veyrons in my Auto Art Signature Collection and a few other ones that I haven't done as well. But as I say, do check them out if you want to see the in-depth reviews on the channel in both the 118 and also the 143 scale um, cars. I do reviews on both. I collect both if they are of interest to you. But in today's video, since it's been a year, since I uploaded my 118 resin model car collection, I thought I'll do a quick update on my entire resin model car collection from BBR and MR collection models. Um, so as I say, it's been a year, the collection's changed, I've had new models come in. So I thought I would do a quick update video on all of the um, all of the models. So if we do a quick run through of them now, and then I'll go through them a bit more in depth individually. So um, again, a new joiner in the um, in the collection is the BBR models Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta. Now I believe this one is kind of Horatio Pagani's personal um, personal Pagani Zonda. You don't really see many of these now on um, on eBay, uh, but again, really really highly detailed uh, model car. But um, yeah, I'll touch on that later on in the video. Next, we've got a real special one of mine, the BBR models, Ferrari LaFerrari Aperta, finished in metallic white, quite rare, only my camera focuses. I think this is number eight out of 36 models that they ever made in white. Um, but again, really special one, been in the collection a long, long time now, um, but again, very rare to see. And then moving on to another rare car, the Pagani Huayra in metallic orange. Really, really, really nice. So this one is the Huayra BC, so just a racier version. Again, really rare, um, especially in orange. And I believe this one is very similar to the La Faperta. Yeah, 24. So this is number seven out of 24 models in orange. Again, don't really see many of these um, on sale, but a great model to have in the collection. Now, moving on, we've got the MR Collections Ferrari 488 Pista, finished in their triple layer yellow with the um, Nero Daytona with the grey stripe over it. Super nice model. Again, limited to 99 pieces. This is number one. Next, we've got the MR Collection Models uh, Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, finished in um, metallic green. I'm not sure the exact colour code. Um, I'll leave it in the description below. Um, again, 99 pieces. Uh, this is the first one. Next, we've got the BBR uh, Ferrari 458 Speciali. Again, uh, one that I've had in the collection um, a number of years now. Really like the Ferraris in the yellow and um, a really good model to have. This one is, I think this is one of 148 pieces. And again, quite rare now. Um, don't really see many of these come up for sale. Next, we get on to the line of Bugattis. So I've got three Bugattis here, which I'm sure um, some of the uh, kind of uh, existing subscribers as I've seen in the past, but if you're new to the channel, um, these are the um, MR Collection models um, Bugatti. So first of all, we've got the Bugatti Chiron 
world record edition finished um, with all the um, blue decals so this one was the one that went from 0 to 400 to 0 in 42 seconds set the world record again 99 pieces this is the first one next we've got the most recent joiner the Bugatti Lavon Chinois um, an enormous model car uh, number one and also this is limited to um, 500 pieces I think and this is the number three or four off the um, off the production line so again quite an early car shame about the interior but I'll touch on that later on in the video but the exterior is absolutely a work of art um, really good and if you're a Bugatti collector like I am a little bit I thought it was a must-have to join the collection and then lastly in the MR collection Bugatti run we've got the Bugatti Devo finished in white with all the light blue accents and the carbon fibre decals again 99 pieces this one is the first one off the production line which is um, which is a great it's a great model to have in the collection so that is the Bugattis um, all three of them next we come on to kind of some classic cars that I'm trying to grow out on the um, on the collection so these all of these um, classic Ferraris are from BBR models so first of all we've got the 250 TDF uh, I believe this is one of 199 pieces from BBR really really good model really highly detailed but I'll show you the um, um, the details in in a, in a kind of later on in the video but um yeah I really do want to try and grow out the um, classic side of the collection next we've got the kind of the the most expensive car I think in the world the 250 GTO with the um, Italian flag running across the body of it again if you if you want to start a classic car collection with Ferraris you know you've got to have that one in the in the collection it's kind of a must and then again I think what I think is probably my favorite classic car and um, that Ferrari ever made especially in the 60s is this the um, the 275 GTB 4 cam I think that's probably one of my favorites and um, that Ferrari kind of ever made in the 60s and especially one in the collection and then lastly we've got the F12 TDF by BBR Models, one of 199 pieces. So that is kind of the collection in a nutshell. Let's go over it in slightly more detail um, if you're new to the channel. And especially um, we'll touch on some models that will be joining the resin model car collection, hopefully in the next month. So um, going back on the classic cars, the um, classic car side of the resin model car collection that I'm looking to grow out, starting off with um, with these three, but also I'm looking to get the um, the Spider version of the 275. And now I know BBI have got a few out at the moment, looking for one um, in the same kind of specification as the um, as the Coupe. So I'm looking for the Spider convertible 275. I think that would be a really good one to have in the classic car collection. Also looking out for a um, kind of 250 Testarossa um, as well. Really, really nice car to have. I think that one would really kind of complete the um, classic car collection alongside the 288 GTO. Now I missed out on the opportunity to buy one of them new from BBR when they first released it, unfortunately. Now those cars are so rare and so expensive, um, but I do hope to add one of those um, to the collection uh, very soon because a 288 GTO is one of their kind of first kind of hyper cars, I would say, that Ferrari made. Um, and it would be great to have one of them in the collection. Now I do have a Ferrari F50 on pre-order from uh, BBR Models. So that's kind of like another model car that's kind of classic. I think it was in the, the 90s, the F50. So and that'd be really good to add into the collection. Um, with the F12 TDF, I'm, I'm kind of in two minds whether to get the 812 Competizione. I know MR released um, a couple of different colours recently, which I've been keeping an eye on. 
but um yeah stay tuned for that i am looking potentially to add the 812 competizione into the collection either from bbr or mr but um that would be one that would be incoming relatively soon because they're starting to be um released now um not sure what color to get thinking of yellow or red or white um but again i think that would be a good one to join the um f12 tdf as well as it's like their next car that they're that they're making so stay tuned for that with the um, bugatti side from mr collection models now again i've got still a couple on, of models on pre-order so um, again the um, lavonche noir was the most recent one that came from mr collection models but i've also got the 300 plus super sport from mr the belide from mr again and those two are the only ones that i've got on pre-order at the moment um again i was in two minds about getting the checho diecci um so that might be a possibility so i'm looking to have around five or six resin bugatti model cars in the collection hopefully by the end of the year so um, stay tuned for that because I'll be doing a lot more in-depth reviews on all of the model cars that are incoming over the next couple of months. But let me know in the comments what you guys think on the Bugatti collection. Don't really see many of these on YouTube, which is good. So um, yeah, more reviews. Please stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. And um, I'll be posting them as soon as I get my hands on them. Um, for example, I put a order in for the chiron 300 plus around two years ago and um still waiting for that model not sure when it'll be coming but um yeah stay tuned for um for an update on that so next we've got mr collection models ferrari 488 pista again had this one in the collection a number of years now first one out of 99 um that they that they made in the yellow and um, black racing stripe. Again, not looking to get the Spider version or the SF90. Um, I just don't really see um, the significance of those cars for Ferrari at the moment. But um, yeah, I, I, I think the next Ferrari car will probably be the 812 uh, Competizione or the Ferrari F50. Um, not starting to collect kind of Spider versions, SF90s. Um, unless they release another kind of Icona or hypercar um, soon. But um, really good car to have in the collection. Again, I do really like the style of the 488 Pista as well. Next, we've got the SVJ um, Roadster by MR Collection Models. Now, that is the roof there. So it does come with um, a detachable uh, carbon fibre style roof that slots on so you can choose to display it as a roadster or with the um, with the hard top i've never displayed it with the hard top really um i've always left it um like like this but um i think it's a nice touch um that mr kind of give you so you can display it both ways but again the paintwork on on this model is truly um kind of exceptional by mr really good model to have in the collection one of 99 pieces and again, this one is the first one off the um, off the production line there as well. So um, again, great model car. I'm not looking to really get any more Lamborghinis at this stage. Got a couple in the collection already. So um, this might be the last Lamborghini at the moment. And next, as I say, the 458 Speciale. Now I am looking to get a Coupe 458. Again, missed out on an opportunity to buy one of them when they were first released by BBR. But um, again, looking on eBay, but very rare, quite expensive. And um, yeah, any ones that do come up get sold pretty quickly. So continue looking, I suppose. If you have a, if you have one that you want to sell, I'll be interested. Um, but let me know in the comments below just to join the um, Speciali Aperta. So next we've got the last three resins that I've got out on the table. So we've got the Pagani Huayra BC. Now again, not looking to get the BC um, uh, Spider. 
Um, I don't really see a difference other, other than the obvious. Um, not really worth the extra kind of money. I am quite content with them um, with this one, the um, Huayra BC in metallic orange. Super, super rare car. I've only seen one of these ever come up on Instagram from another collector. Um, but again, you just don't see these at all for sale on Instagram, rarely on YouTube in the metallic orange um, specification by BBR. Super rare, only made 24 models. This is number seven um, that I've got. But again, it is such a great model to have in the collection and it is so exclusive, which is a real plus um, on my end. Now, next we've got the Ferrari La Ferrari Aperta finished in metallic white. Again, another really rare car. This is number seven out of 36. Don't see many of these at all come up on eBay either. I'm not really looking to get any others um, from, from BBI at this stage. Um, as I say, the only other two models is um, the F50 and the 812. Um, but I, I've got the coupe version as well in, um, in red. So um, in terms of the Ferrari LaFerrari, I think I've got both of them for now. And then lastly, we've got another rare one from BBR, the Zonda Barchetta HP, stands for Horatio Pagani. Um, this one is at his personal car. I believe he only made three or four of these, one for himself and then one for um, kind of collectors um, from Pagani. But um, yeah, this one is a really highly detailed model car. Rare, only made a few, um, kind of, I think about 100 of these models. And this is number 22 from BBR. Really highly detailed model car. One of the um, kind of favorites in the Pagani collection. But that's pretty much my resin model car collection. A year on from my last one that I posted been a few changes and a few model cars that are still yet to come um, but as I say as soon as I get those model cars I'll be doing a review on them very very soon most of these I've done a review on already so if any if you want to see any of these models in more detail please check out my um, channel already because I've done reviews on pretty much every single car that you see on the table so far but um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos to come and um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel and um, I'll see you guys soon for more videos to come. Cheers. Bye.